Fear and anxiety. What am I so afraid of? Much as I'm afraid to admit it, here we go. I'm going to preface this by saying two things that are probably really obvious. First, I'm not a therapist, and I'm not going to tell you how to fix, well, anything. And second, I'm not talking about this stuff because I'm looking for somebody to fix me or give me advice or anything like that. I'm talking about it because I feel like if I express these things, it gets them out of my head. And it's an action that I'm taking to short circuit the kind of negative feedback loop that I tend to find myself in with my anxiety. Also, if hearing about my challenges helps any of you, then that's really cool as well. It's been an interesting ride for me since I retired from the Army back in May. While I'm in a good spot financially at the moment, I'm really kind of wanting to go in a different direction as far as where my life is headed and also what I do for income. With the exception of a couple of weeks subbing with the first national tour of the Broadway musical Come From Away, I've basically done no performing at all in close to a year. A lot of that coincided with COVID, but it's a huge, huge change from the last 20 years, where most of the time I was performing at least maybe twice a week. I'd like to get back to doing some more performing, but I don't really know what that's going to look like. What I do know, though, is that I want it to be at a high level. The come from away thing has spoiled me with that, and honestly, that's the level of work where I want to be. Now, I don't feel like it's throwing ego around, but it's just an acknowledgement of where I'm at right now. So where's the fear in this? I fear that I won't be able to have more work at the level that I want it, and that things won't keep coming along, especially not by themselves without me doing something. Now, is this rational? No, probably not. Pretty much everything that I've done as a performer that's been great, at least, has come into my life unexpectedly. So there's no objective reason for thinking that this won't continue to be the case. But for me, it's still a huge mental challenge. I'm looking to take more ownership and control over my life moving forward. And I also want to help people in a meaningful way, which was one of the things about my previous job that I actually disliked the most. I always felt like there was all of this potential for my organization to affect real change in people's lives, but that that potential was never actually realized. At the moment, I feel like I'm living the professional and life change that I want to help other people navigate, if that makes any sense. I want to be a coach for artists who are navigating major changes. Yes, I love the Bauron, and yes, I love teaching people about tech, but it's more than just that for me. The world is rapidly changing for independent artists and creators, and I want to help those people use technology and the most up-to-the-minute resources to build new paths for themselves, to help them take more of an ownership and have more agency in their whole life, not just their careers. So what am I afraid of with this? Honestly, I'm afraid that no one will want to help me help them. Nobody will want to hire me for any real reason. That I don't have enough knowledge or experience. That I won't be taken seriously. I know that the real truth about coaching is that I'm there to listen and to help people draw on what gifts they have. Like my colleague and inspiration Janet Ingalls always says, the thing is not the thing. But that's a huge mind shift for me and I'm not all the way there yet. I'm starting a podcast with my friend Pat Broaders called the Trad Not Trad Podcast. Our aim is to help traditional artists embrace today's technology. It's going to be about a lot more than just tech. In fact, it's really largely about human stories of artists and how they're navigating these times that we're living in. I'm really loving the arc of the episodes that we've recorded so far. So what am I anxious about with that? Well, I heard a Mel Robbins quote today that really hit the mark for me. She said, anxiety is a patterned response to uncertainty. So the crux of it is, I want to know now where these things are going, where they're going to end up, how it's all going to work out. You know, all the things you can't know when you're starting new things. 
selfishly, I'd also like to know, in all honesty, what uh, is happening with the tropical storm and soon-to-be Hurricane Ian as well. I'd really like to know that, considering that I live in Florida. I just want to say to you all that fear and anxiety are normal. I think most of us are in some state of fear about something pretty much all the time. Thanks for listening to me rant for a bit, and I hope that maybe, just maybe, something I've said has resonated or helped you in some small way. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.